Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you how to install Intel Parallel Studio on Ubuntu. In the last hands-on tutorial, I have shown how to find and how to download um, Intel Parallel Studio from the official website. And as you remember that uh, for students, for uh, open source developers, uh, Parallel Studio is, is free and uh, so you can I hope that uh, now you already have the um, uh, package and the serial number associated with the package yeah? uh, so let's get started the first thing to do is to, um, is to install some packages and then that is needed for the installation uh, w the necessary thing is, is this uh, command I have already in, um, installed this in this package so I will not, not do it again here but what you can do is to, is that you just uh, copy this command and um, and run run in the in the terminal. And uh, optionally, you can also set up a 32-bit environment if in the future you will need to use the um, the Parallel Studio to to compile your own code and uh, you want to compile your code in a 32-bit way. But um, but usually this is n this is not needed and for sure this is not uh, necessary for the uh, compilation of quantum espresso. So you y optionally you could do it or you you can sk skip this uh, step. This is okay. Uh, in principle, you could uh, well uh, skip all of the steps here because uh, you can just run uh, run the installation and the program will ask. Uh, what it needs and you can s solve the problem then that is also another possibility okay so we start the installation process the first thing to do is to decompress the the, the package um, one possibility that we have shown before is to use tar command and pass on these flags it doesn't matter which order you pass the, those flags and uh, say yeah so this is the normal way that we that we do it. Today we 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 do it in, in a second way. That is go going to the f uh, folder in the um, uh, basically in the user interface and uh, right click on the package and extract here. Yeah, and you see that it starts the process and there is a new folder popping up <coughs> where the uh, actual installer is inside and you see that this is quite fast we check and indeed um, we are in the in the in this folder and and this is the new folder that that we created so we go inside this new new folder and uh, see what's inside the most important two files are the install GUI and uh, or install basically if you you run uh, want to run the installation process um, with command line or, or we say within terminal you should run this if you mm, want to run it uh, using e uh, user interface you should run this yeah? to run you need to use uh, dot slash dot slash means run yeah? and uh, install GUI so this will basically run this uh, installation with the user interface and the first thing you have to select accept the second thing you can say yes or no and I will say no and next it will uh, do some verification this is quite quick I would suggest that uh, you prepare your uh, serial number because you are needed in a second and, and as I said before if you are a student if you are an open source developer you can get uh, a serial number for free along with the package yeah? So, so I hope that you can find a way to um, to get it. Okay. So now is the prerequisites. It says uh, it, it says that it's unsupported uh, operating system. The d detected operating operating system is not supported. And uh, and you see that uh, Parallel Studio supports a lot of uh, Linux operating systems, including Ubuntu, but only 16 and 18. So what we are using is 19. So it's uh, kind of too new for it. But um, but in the end, it doesn't it doesn't really matter. Yeah? So so it it, it will work as usual. So what we you can do is to just uh, uh, ignore this comment here and press next, 
and we need uh, the serial number. Just copy and paste. I cannot show it here, but as I said uh, before, you can get it freely for st uh, if you are a student, if you are an open source developer, um, just find a way to get it. Okay, and uh, the next thing is we want to install on the current system only because we only have one computer, we only have one laptop. This is the usual case. Uh, but if you are installing Parallel Studio on a cluster with different nodes, with a lot of um, computers, you, ha you, you may need to choose the second thing. But for us, it's the, uh, only the current system. Next. Okay, you see that the, this uh, requirement for, for space is uh, 15 gigabytes around. So if you, if you are not so concerned about the space, I would recommend that you keep everything default and installed, because th this basically ins installed nearly everything in the, in the package. Um, yeah. and but, but if you uh, are concerned about the uh, space, you don't have enough space, what you can do is that you can only select those uh, parts that you, you need and just pressing this customize, which, which, which I will do here. Usually I will not do, I will just uh, install everything because I am not concerned about the space. But I, w I want to show you here uh, that how to, how to select those uh, parts that you need. So the destination uh, folder, we keep it as default. This is, uh, it will create a folder called Intel um, under the home, home directory, which we will use later, but um, we will keep it as default. And next, and yes, Okay, so we will deselect everything that we don't need. The trace analyzer we don't need, the cluster checker we don't need, v uh, this amplifier inspector. So basically we will deselect everything that, that, is, that is with, with res uh, respect of uh, debugging or analyzing or checking because we don't really w want to do that. If you, I in case you want to uh, really develop your own code and want to compile uh, some, some C++ code or uh, Fortran code using this uh, Parallel Studio you a and you want to use these uh, additional features to check your code, to you optimize your code you could select those things but um, for, for now we just uh, don't uh, we don't need that this advice we also don't need the important thing is the C++ compiler and Fortran compiler, this is important for the MKL, this is the math library, we select everything. Um, and uh, the update for MKL, this is also important. The single threaded and multi threaded libraries, that's for the mo uh, parallel computing. You can select this, um, but, but this is optional. We will still do it. And the threading building blocks, the threading is also, um, may also be interesting. It is not necessary, but we just select those. Data analytics, we don't need that. And MPI library, this is important. We have to uh, choose that. This is the parallel computing library uh, support. Okay, this GNU GDB, that is the basically the uh, debugger, which we also don't know, uh, don't don't need. Another thing is that if you want to further uh, reduce the size, you can uncheck this uh, this thing here. Because because basically the left left one is the um, um, is the 32 bit uh, installation the the, the 32 bit uh, support and the right one is the 62 bit support. If you just want to compile quantum spatio, you don't really need the 32 bit support, so you can deselect that, and that will reduce the size from 8 8.2 gigabytes to 5.99 gigabytes. So uh, yeah. So we will we will go with with the minimum uh, minimum size. So we will also deselect that because we only need the six, six, 64th bit uh, thing, and that will uh, reduce the size from 14 gigabytes to 5.9 uh, gigabytes. But uh, but you lose many possibilities of um, of different things here if you want to develop develop something, and you also you cannot really compile the 32 uh, bit. Uh, code but uh, but in, in in our case we just want to compile the quantum espresso so it's okay yeah but in the end if you don't really care about the space you can just keep everything as default and, and install everything because we don't uh, 
we don't uh, include the 32-bit uh, capability, we also don't care about the 32-bit libraries. But in in, uh, in principle, the th the 32 libraries are the lines and that um, that we run here. Yeah. It cannot find it. M maybe there there is some uh, 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 there is something else there, but uh, but we uh, at this stage we are not going to solve this uh, this message here. Yeah, because it doesn't doesn't really matter. So we click next. And uh, you see that now we reduce the size from 14 gigabytes to fi uh, 5.9 gigabytes. Okay, so we press install. So this will take some time. I uh, advise that you uh, just take a rest or, uh, or drink some coffee. And we will be right back. Okay, so everything is complete now, and uh, you see that if you click finish, it, it was a uh, prompt a uh, get starting page, uh, where, uh, which um, like there are some information in it, and we just take a look. Okay, uh, the most important thing is here. You need to initialize uh, in initialize the tools before you run it. You see that um, if I write ifort minus v, ifort is the Fortran compiler within the Paro Studio. And minus v means I track the version of, of ifort. And uh, it seem you see that it is not found. Um, we can check another compiler which is the C compiler in the, uh, the Paro Studio and also it cannot find the C compiler. The reason is that we install without the um, uh, root privilege and uh, so that uh, those compilers uh, are not included in the, in, the, in the main terminal. So what we have to do before we run this code is that we uh, have to set the envir environment variables. This is very easy we need to go into the uh, installation directory for a root uh, installation it, it is uh, opt intel for non root installations and that is what we do today uh, it is home directory intel and then we go to the parallel studio dot uh, update number dot package number and bin yeah so what we can do is to cd Toyota, that is the home directory, and Intel, Paro Studio, dot package number, uh, and bin. And you see what's inside, and you see those two files. What you can do is to source psxevars.sh. This basically add the, um, um, the those compilers to the to the uh, current terminal. Yes, and we clear the screen. And for example, i fort minus v, and um, it successfully find the compiler. And icc for example minus v also find the uh, um, C compiler. This may be a little bit inconvenient because every time w when you compile something, you have to go go into um, this in, um, in, into this Intel folder and and run run the code. Um, instead, what you can do, we go back to the home directory and the Quantum Espresso, for example, in, in this folder. And what you can do is just source home directory Intel Parallel Studio dot bin this is psxe.sh yeah? 
so you can run this line of code wherever you are it doesn't matter wh which uh, which folder you are in you just uh, run this code and after that um, it automatically add uh, um, add everything to the current environment yeah so Today I have shown you how to install Parallel Studio, how to um, initialize the, um, the environment variables, and um, in the next video I will show you how to compile Quantum Espresso using Parallel Studio. Um, if you find uh, the tutorial interesting or helpful, um, I, I, I would greatly appreciate you uh, um, like appreciate your support by hitting like or sub uh, subscribe to my channel. Okay, um, I thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you next time.